I'm here with John from Pantheon, and he offers mostly all e-STEM, right? E yeah, we, it's electroacupuncture devices, all American made, the highest quality machines on the market, the most exact frequencies, the longest lasting machines. We have people that have had these 25, 30 years. They just keep going and yeah, going. If you don't know about Pantheon already, you, sh you should. You definitely should know about our equipment. <laughs> it's FDA approved. Uh, actually, very few, few machines are. And so we have also, we do a lot of research in acupuncture. This year, one of the things that's new is we uh, are publishing a study to show that electroacupuncture increases stem cell growth in the skin. And we did an animal study at UCLA where we demonstrated that with statistics. And so there's apparently there's stem cell proliferation. When you put needles in the skin and stimulate it with electricity, you get a, a, a 10 times increase with stem cell, uh, neural stem cell proliferation. And oh, so wow. This is really intriguing as a mechanism of acupuncture that's now being discovered. There's about two other papers published uh, recently with the same mechanism. So that's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, so that opens up some doors because normally I would think of Eastim as using it to release muscle spasms, but you can also use it for skin stuff? Well, if it's stem cells, it could have a mechanism relating to regeneration or healing. In general? In general. And the people that are doing the research are interested in doing regeneration of the small intestine in children that are born without small intestines. And that's how they got into this research initially. But they're actually thinking, well, we can perhaps do, if you can cause the stem cells to migrate in the body to certain locations, then perhaps it's a way of generating the stem cells. And since it's generated by our own bodies, there's no rejection of the stem cells. Oh yeah, this reminds me of a book, an old book called The Body Electric that came out a long time ago. Yeah, and Robert it, Becker. Yeah, so this kind of validates some of that, that stuff, that regeneration theory. Well, he, he, was, he was talking about how um, uh, so low-level electrical currents cause cells to start to regenerate or to grow or to be physiologically influenced. And so that's one of the mechanisms of electroacupuncture is that cells are complex electrical entities and you can influence how you can control the physiological response of cells by manipulating the electricity wow that's like so deep there's so much really precise science you can you can it, do in treatments it, it can get quite nitty-gritty but yeah. um, another one of the um, emerging models of course is that is that it's uh, it's a form of neuromodulation and what's very interesting in the field of electrical medicine is that the um, pharmaceuticals are heavily into neuromodulation studies. They're putting billions of dollars. They want to implant electrical stimulators in the body to stimulate peripheral nerves to cause the central nervous system to react to heal things. Wow. Electroacupuncture probably performs the same thing for much cheaper and it's non-invasive. By using the needles, we're stimulating the peripheral nerves, which are then causing responses in the body's central nervous system and, and that controls the organs. So neuromodulation is being demonstrated as a possible uh, corresponding model for electroacupuncture. That's so awesome. A no invasive surgery to install a yeah. device or and anything inexpensive like that. and effective. Yeah, expensive, yeah. And this is inexpensive and same effectiveness. Exactly. Awesome. Right. So we're we're doing what the pharmaceutical companies do. <laughs> well, thanks so much, John. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Uh, and also for um, people coming in online, how do they find you? Right, we have a website. It is pantheonresearch.com, and there's information there, and we can do online ordering if you wish to purchase products or take a look at things, and we'd love to have you visit that. Great, awesome. Thank you.